Pueblo Governors, and CAI President Jefferson Keel, executive staff with NCAI, parents, children, and distinguished guests. My name is Conroy Chino, and I will be your MC this evening. And welcome to New Mexico, the land of enchantment and home to 22 nations, pueblos, and tribes, and welcome to the 76th Annual Convention of the National Congress of American Indians. It's wonderful to see so many of you joining us here this evening for the welcoming reception. I haven't seen this many Indians crammed into one space since I was at Grand Entry during gathering at the UNM pit, or maybe it was at Walmart a few hours earlier. It's great to see so many of you here um, for the local planning committee's uh, welcoming reception. I know that some of you have traveled great distances to be here from uh, different parts of the country, from different areas of the state, or maybe just uh, up the street here in town to be at this year's convention. Wherever you're from, we're glad you're here this evening. You know, this year's theme is one that resonates loudly for so many of us, uh, sovereignty in action. And that's been NCAI's mission and purpose since its inception, and that's protecting and preserving tribal sovereignty. And you won't see that practiced any more aggressively and put into action more proactively than here in New Mexico. We've been fighting to protect what's rightfully ours for decades, fighting in the courts, the state legislature, and the halls of Congress. And we have the battle wounds to prove it. I don't want to brag, but I think uh, New Mexico is probably the birthplace of tribal sovereignty. What do you think? Yeah. Now, New Mexico is um, where ancient civilizations began for many of the tribes here in the Southwest. We continue to maintain our traditional lifestyles, our language, our beliefs, our dances, and our worldview. Before we get started with our agenda this evening, it's always customary for um, those of us uh, from tribal communities and in tribal gatherings to begin with an invocation. We'd like to share that practice with you this evening. The purpose of the invocation, as you know, is not only to seek guidance and clarity over the length of the convention, but also to send a prayer of peace across the country and around the world. And we ask for all people, including our own tribal communities, and all living things to be, to be blessed. It gives me great pleasure at this time to introduce someone who has earned the respect of many tribal leaders, elected officials, and members of Congress. He has worked hard to bring the Pueblos together and give the all Pueblo Council of Governors the respect that it deserves. He served several terms as a Pueblo Governor at Isleta and has led the APCG for several years. He's a leader, a mentor, and just a great human being. Please welcome up here the APCG Chairman, Paul Torres, to make some comments and to do the invocation. Please welcome him. If you could all please stand, I'm going to do a uh, invocation, an opening prayer in my Tiwa language. Thank 
of the 20 sovereign Pueblo nations of New Mexico and our sister Pueblo, Isleta del Sur, in Texas. On behalf of the All Pueblo Council of Governors, I would like to give you all a warm welcome to the 76th Annual National Congress of American Indians Convention and Marketplace. We thank you all for the opportunity to share in this momentous gathering of our tribal nations taking place upon the ancestral homelands of our Tiwa Pueblo people within our beautiful city of Albuquerque. As you continue your journey over the next days engaging in the task of putting sovereignty into action, I would like to respectfully request your continued contemplation of the past, present, and future these land of these lands we share today. The history of this particular land we stand upon is complex, with the colonization and occupation of Spain, Mexico, and the United States. Through all these encounters over centuries, our Pueblo people endured conflicts which remain the darkest chapters of our history. But through all these challenges, we, as all other tribal nations, have come to realize the spirit of resilience, vision, and transformation. Collectively, we are all guided by deeply held core values of compassion, love, and respect to ensure the continued prosperity of our communities and the world. Returning to the strength 
strengths of our worldview and the articulation of our, of our value has and always will be our strongest tool in reshaping this world together. We know that truly life-affirming and sustainable work can only be done in the spirit of collaboration and cooperation with one another, with both the global and the local kept in mind. On behalf of the 20 Pueblo nations, it is our sincere hope that each one of us in our own capacities today leads in a way that defines a future that we desire most. To engage together in the creation of a world that our children can be proud of and share in vibrant celebration for generations to come. With that, I wish each of you well and that your time here is spent meaningfully and with the utmost respect of the value you each bring to our nations and communities. Thank you.